In our last video we have explained as how a current carrying conductor can produce a magnetic field. Let us mold this wire into a loop. Now we shall try to know as to how a current carrying loop produces a magnetic field. Here we have a loop wire. We allow to pass through a current I. In this direction. When it comes to this point, according to Maxwell's right hand thumb rule a magnetic field in the form of concentric circles perpendicular to direction of current is produced in clockwise direction. Approaching towards the center field lines, becomes flatter finally straightens at the center. When current comes to a point which is diametrically opposite, another field is produced in the similar manner. The magnitude of the magnetic field so produced is larger than that produced in the straight wire. Take a cylinder made up of piece of papers. We wrap copper wire surrounding it and allow a current to pass through it. Is called as a solenoid. When current enters into coil the two ends. Polarizers as north and south pole. A strong magnetic field is generated within the cylinder. Thus make the coil working as a bar magnet. The two poles can very well be identified. Clockwise circulation as south pole. And anticlockwise as north pole. The region surrounding the magnet where force can be experienced as magnetic field. Magnetic lines are paths traveled by pole from north your south pole. Magnetic lines always emerges out and falls perpendicular to the poles. Never intersect. And at last closure the gap larger is force and vice versa. 